Representatives Rick Larson and Suzanne Del Benny joined striking Boeing workers on the picket lines outside of Boeing's Everett factory on Friday to hear their concerns and to show their support of union members' efforts to negotiate a fair contract with Boeing. Um, they're very dedicated to each other. They're dedicated to the community, and they understand that a, a strong community, a strong local economy, depends upon a strong union and depends on a strong Boeing company. Just want to be out here, meet with workers, um, support their right to organize and their right to collectively bargain. Strong compensation. Um, they are the backbone of the company, the backbone of our community. Representative Larson ranking member of the House Transportation and Infrastructure Subcommittee, heard testimony on Tuesday from FAA Administrator Michael Whitaker on the agency's oversight of Boeing's corrective action plan following Alaska Airlines Flight 1282 incident. Well, we passed the certification reform bill in 2020 that gave FAA new authorities to exercise uh, um, against uh, Boeing and, and other manufacturers of airplanes and airplane parts. In addition, that certification reform uh, it's told FAA to put more uh, FAA employees in factories and, and rely less on companies like Boeing to do that work. Unfortunately, we did that, and then it took another two years to get a, uh, two plus years, to get a confirmed administrator, someone with the authority of, from the President and the Senate to use these authorities. That only happened in November of last year with uh, FAA Administrator Mike Whitaker there. Our, I think our hearings show that he's using these authorities, he's taking action, um, to uh, uh, hold Boeing accountable. Our job in Congress is to hold FAA accountable to these new authorities to use them so that we know that safety is always gonna come first when building airplanes. The strike is entering its third week. IAM union leadership blasted Boeing for emailing its best and final offer directly to all members and the media without any prior communication. In that final offer, Boeing committed to building its next new airplane here in the Puget Sound region. A general wage increase of 30% over four years, a ratification bonus of $6,000, a reinstatement of the AMP bonus, a one-to-one -one match on the first 8% an employee contributes to Boeing's 401k plan, a lower cost share for healthcare, a new employee annual floating holiday. Uh, I also think of talking to the workers uh, as well. There's just long simmering tensions that go back um, beyond the last couple of years, uh, back maybe even you know, 10 to 12 to 15 years. And uh, um, the, the company, I think, needs to recognize that and recognize that through whatever the result of the contract is. IAM says Boeing's final offer doesn't go far enough, demanding a pay increase of 40% and for Boeing to reinstate the company's defined benefit pension program, which members voted in January of 2014 to replace with Boeing's current 401k plan. Talks did resume on Friday, but as today, both sides are holding firm. What the, the focus ought to be on is uh, that the, uh, a fair contract as a result of these negotiations. Uh, that is what is going to set a long-term uh, long uh, course for Boeing, for the company. The order backlog is big, um, so the, the cash will be there to operate the company. Um, but as well, part of that cash needs to go into the pockets of the women and men who have carried this company uh, through their tough times for the last several years. This is your Linwood Times News Brief, where you find the real news that impacts you.